Within this exhibition, there's a really wide range of different artworks and a really wide range of different processes. I was thinking about artists who use materials in quite an unusual way and also artists who incorporate an element of chance in their work so that the whole process isn't completely controlled. I chose the theme flow for a variety of reasons. It was partly inspired by one of the artworks that I saw initially, Solveig Setemstall's film, Singularity, um, and that really got me thinking about artists using very unusual materials. But also it made me think about the different ways that people work and the fact that when you are very much in the moment of making, there is a real kind of flow between your mind and your body, essentially, in terms of what you're making and the way that you're making it. The way I move around the studio is trying to get to that moment where the paint is shifting and sliding and there's a kind of slippage which occurs. But um, each painting has a different behavioural process. Flow, it obviously re reeks for me of the materiality of paint and also its opposite, you know, what happens when a flow or fluidity is, there's a blockage, there's a stoppage. The next step is to push this okay, back stop, stop. into place against the wall. It forms part of the back wall of the gallery. I mean, I like the way the, the sort of sharp lines of the elastic just disappearing through the holes into the spaces beyond beyond the walls or inside the spaces that aren't here in the gallery. There's an immediate sort of sense with the sort of lines of red elastic to probably want to start playing with it or to climb through it or start twanging the elastic. So I hope they'll enjoy it on that level. I make large scale abstract paintings, which are quite performative in some ways. They trace the marks of the body in, in the making. There's also in some of them a more geometric element, different layers of control and, and release. Art comes through the body and through the life experience. So in some ways it's like I'm thinking about everything and I'm, then I'm also thinking about nothing at the same time. One of the things I enjoy is the relationship between the things that I've planned and can control and then the things that are harder to control so that I don't know exactly what the outcome is going to be when I start making. I don't know how the volume of liquid that I pour into the shapes is going to affect the shape. There is almost something for everyone with objects that might at first glance seem familiar, such as Jonathan Keep's porcelain pieces, but when you find out that they've been 3D printed and that he uses an element of chance within that process so that part of the coding is random, it does bring a whole different level to the way that we interpret the work. I hope essentially that they get inspired to make things in response to some of the objects that they've seen here. The purpose of the exhibitions is essentially to enhance students' learning, to offer people an insight into contemporary art practice, and to really enhance the cultural life of the school.